folks, welcome back. You're watching Techie, and today we'll be going over an extension of the last video where we took a list of URLs and extracted the first and last names. What we saw in the last video was that we encountered a little bit of a problem where the last name was sometimes distorted by having extra characters following the last name, such as MBA, CPA, as well as the letters JR for junior. And what we did to solve that problem is, was a very manual uh, method. We replaced each instance of MBA, CPA, and junior as an applied step by replacing it with the hyphen. And each of those require one separate applied step. And what I'm going to be doing is showcasing what this essentially you are doing manually. So you have MBA, you're simply replacing it once, which is one step, then you do CPA, which is your second step, and then you do junior. Junior being the last step, which is three separate steps into replacing, and this is your final output. However, you can do it in a much more efficient way by creating a list of characters, being MBA, CPA, whatever it is, and then you're passing that list as a variable and you're asking Power Query to look through that list and you replace all of the values in the list with the, the value you define, which will be hyphen in this case. So rather than having to do this 100 times, if you had 100 different characters to replace, you simply manipulate your list and have it simply do a lookup and replace it with a hyphen. So we're going to go into Power Query Editor and see how that works. So now what we're going to do is go into Power Query and observe the prior steps we did in the prior video. So immediately, if you look at the, the list of items of applied steps, you can see that we replaced CPA hyphens with a regular hyphen, MBA as well, as well as the junior. So three separate steps of replacements were done which is equivalent to what we did manually in order to manipulate things to replace those values. Now I'm going to replace all three of these. Well, I'm going to delete all three of these. And what this essentially does is restore the original problem where we have junior MBA and CPAs in the last names. So how do we account for this if we don't want to do three steps? What I'm going to do is simply create a new list. And how do we do that? So to create a list, you go equal sign, open brackets, and you pass in every instance of uh, the characters that you want to put into that list. And you put them into quotes as such. So now we have our list and we call this list a name. I'll call this list one. Essentially, this is the list of items we want Power Query to look through and replace with the same value. So going back to the extract column and the step, what I'm going to do is now create a new step, insert, and now I'm going to create a custom function. So we're going to use the list.accumulate function, accumulate, and what we're going to pass in is we call our list by doing so, the list as a list, and then seed we put in, which is our prior step, which is extract. So we call that by calling extract, which is the, the column that we're calling in the prior list. And then we're going to write in the accumulator, which is x, y equals to table dot replace value. And this is a function. Now we're going to set the table as x, y. And then comma. We're going to replace this one with the hyphen. 
And finally, replacer dot replace text. We're calling this extract because that's what we want to replace. So double check. Okay. So there we go. Our new custom column, replace list with hyphen. So essentially what this does, if we step back to the prior list, before we do that, we have the CPAs, MBAs, juniors, but once we apply this, you see that they're gone. But if we take a closer look, we see that instead of one hyphen, we have three hyphens now. And that's because we needed to replace these values fully um, by replacing the hyphenated versions with the original hyphen. So now, as you can see, we've now accomplished what we did in three steps by using a single list, one step. So if we go back to the final step, we can see that almost everything is replaced and showing the last name correctly, except PMP, which is again, a, a set of letters that is not the person's last name. So recall how I mentioned that if you have additional items that you need to replace, simply update your list as such. We added another variable to the list. And once we go back, you no longer need to add another step because of this value essentially looks up the table of list and then replaces it with the defined value that you want to replace with and now we're looking through CPA, MBA, Junior, and PMP, replacing all of them with hyphen. And then that's it. Once we go look back at the, the, the final outcome, once I refresh this value, you see that PMP is no longer the last name. And now we have everything that we needed to do. So as you can see, using this method of creating a list, Defining the list, and you can replace as many characters as you want with the same character in one step. Extremely powerful, saves a lot of time, and if you had to do it 100 times, simply manipulate your list. So there we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I hope I see you in the next video.